Today, we're going to wire up a motor that activates with the push of a button. First, let's place the button on the breadboard. Connect one pin of the button to the 5 volt rail. From the other pin of the button, connect a 10K ohm resistor to the ground rail. Also, from that same button pin, run a wire to digital pin 2 on your Arduino. Second pin of resistor connect to ground. Now, let's add the MOSFET transistor. Connect the first pin, the gate, to digital pin 9 on the Arduino. Connect the second pin, the drain, to a new empty row on the breadboard. Connect the third pin, the source, to the ground rail. Next, we'll add a diode. It's important to get the direction right. Connect the diode between the motor and the power supply with the stripe on the diode pointing towards the 5 volt rail. This protects the circuit from voltage spikes when the motor turns off. Using a jumper wire, connect the ground rouse. For the motor's power, we'll use a 9-volt battery to ensure it has enough voltage to run. Connect the positive terminal of the battery to a new power rail and the negative terminal to the ground rail. Make sure all your ground rails are connected. Finally, let's connect the motor. Connect the motor's positive lead to the positive rail of the battery. Connect the motor's negative lead to the same row as the MOSFET train pin. Now connect your Arduino to the computer and let's get the code ready. As you can see, when I press the button, the circuit closes and the motor starts spinning. When I release it, the circuit opens and the motor stops. Let's look at the code. We'll start by defining the ports for the button and the motor. In the setup function, we'll set the motor pin as an output because we'll be sending a signal to it and the button pin as an input because we'll be reading a signal from it. In the loop, we use an if statement. If the button is pressed, the signal from the button pin will be high and will turn the motor on. If the button is not pressed, the signal will be low and will turn the motor off. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel.